Jacob and I are still doing because we are hardly in the same place. Our technology. Oh, I got to stain on this shirt. Damn it. Our technology is never. I like how you went stain and you thought it was your other hand and you used your right hand instead of your left hand and went up with it. And you were like, oh, shit, wrong hand. No, dude, the fact that you called out that that was right and left hand. How did you do that? I have no idea what hand you're holding that microphone with. Left I, right? right. Right. Okay. Right. So, yeah. Dude, so we. I'm like, very, right now, I think you know, I'm very aware of my left and right and my, my hand eye coordination is pretty good. Well, I'm aware of my own left and right, dude. I just mean like on camera, I'm not sure I can never. Got to be aware of all left and rights, man. Can't make, can't make myself look stupid on camera. I got to be aware of everyone's left and rights? Yeah. It, it's, you know, life is a game of angles, man. You got to keep your head on a swivel. Dude, that's a great t-shirt. <laughs> yeah. You know, who used to, you know who used to fucking say that, except the word wasn't life, it was football. So this is what Coach O used to scream at me. And I'm going to, this man, Coach, you remember his last name? Ozaransky. Yeah. Oh, it's weird that you. That you're, man. You're, your mouth moving and the noise coming out is so staggered. Is that for me too? Yeah. Well, it just, it just flipped back. I saw it do it for me, but it's not doing it for me anymore. So I just want to, just before you get into this story about a guy nobody knows about, um, let me just tell everybody I'm in a hotel, which probably explains the terrible Wi-Fi. And so... It explains why there's shade on this side because the window's over there. And so and why didn't you just face the window? Because the de- the only desk is here. I mean, there's like no else you, I mean there's no no no. I mean like now with the camera to the side. Oh I know, but like the only desk is here. here. Oh, there's no the, I was just gonna say there's nothing you could like stack. There's not like things you could stack. Already you don't started. have to do it. You don't have to do it. I'm just, I'm just checking. Yeah. Is the light on in the other room past that farm door? Back that way. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, there's Is no it... real light. Oh, okay. You know I, I mean? feel like I feel like you just said yeah because you didn't want to get up to turn it on. No, it's on, but it's a straight. Oh, okay. It's coming straight down light. It ah, really okay, happen. okay, got it. Yeah. By the way, yeah. your hair looks good today. You abandoned. No, I, I did for a little bit, and then I took it out. Sometimes I do that to, like, mold my hair to stay back, and then I take it out, and I just run my hand through. You know why your hair is so much better than mine? It's the part Asian. Yeah. It really yeah, yeah, yeah. smoothed out the real Jewy parts of your hair. Yeah, it gave me, it gave me a whole other dimension to my hair. I, I'm so jealous. You have Your hair is so much better than mine ever was. Mine – only ever really looked good coming out of the shower because it was wet and it had those dewy curls. And so I looked right. like I looked like a WWE wrestler. Like I looked like I, I looked like Razor used, Malone. Every time I, I got out of the shower, I wanted to put a in my mouth. What's that? I used to get the Jerry curls when I like when my hair was really long and now before I cut it. When I put my hair up in that little towel wrap thing, when I took it out, I had natural Jerry curls in my hair. Not not Jerry curls. They look like Jerry curls. Can I tell you one of my favorite things was to watch you walk around, towel around your waist, hair up in a bun with your towel tied up top? You know, you remember your mom used to do that for you when you got out of the shower? I was like like probably 12 or 13. You you fucking loved it when she would do that. Do what? Put your hair, put the towel on your head and wrap it up. Oh, yeah. I like it. Yeah, I'm with you, dude. I'm with you. What was your favorite thing that your mom... When you were growing up, was it the French toast that she made for you and all your friends? Was it the towel? Was it's it probably the cinnamon rolls on Saturday mornings uh, or Sunday mornings? You guys waking up hungover and eating cinnamon rolls in your room? It was never hungover. We were just always waking up super high. Were you still? Like, you when you used, yeah, I remember when you used to get high and you got so high you'd still wake up the next morning high. You mean like today? I have to you today. I just got high too late. Mm. Didn't you know get enough I mean? sleep. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know what time I need to pop that edible to not feel it in the morning. Yeah. But it's almost like you wake up and you're like, damn, I'm super groggy. And then you get up and move around and you're like, damn, am I still fucking high? Yeah. But like, yeah, yeah. So in high school, I would, I would, I would most mornings wake up still pretty high. And then we got yeah. to senior year and then it was just like a cakewalk. You, even school days? No, 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 not school days, like weekends. Like, like yeah, yeah, no, yeah. no, 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 because I, I never figured out how to 
other than a vape, like if I had like a like a like a weed vape, I never figured out how to smoke weed in my room at night without opening the window because the window you guys the window I had in my fucking room had an alarm on it. So I couldn't sneak out. Yeah. Or open it at night. There Wait, was you another You think huh? I knew? I'm just making sure. At one point though, I did punch my screen out. Do you remember that? Yeah. And then I want that. I don't know if you knew this, but at some points I just started leaving my window open during the day. Yeah. Because when they set the alarm, if the window was open, it wouldn't say anything. Yeah. You know what? The or, I, or, I, or I would just leave it a little cracked. Yeah. Because then if I opened it anymore, it wouldn't set anything off. Yeah. And you were sneaking out your window. Yeah. yeah. I, only a couple of times, though. I never did it too many times. Yeah, but you, I, I think I did it. I did it. I did a couple. I did like two handfuls of times. Yeah, you know what the giveaway was? It was the fucking window open. I never had my window open. It was the footprints. There was dirt underneath your window. It was no, no. There wasn't dirt straight underneath my window. Up dirt underneath your was, window. No, there was grass. Possible. There was supposed to be. Wait a second. There was supposed wait, to wait, be wait, wait, grass. Wait. There was. You talk about Amatillaha. Huh? What are you talking about? In my room or like outside my window? Outside your window. Oh, oh, oh. I thought you were talking about inside. I was like, no, dude, inside my desk and my bed were there. So there was no way I was leaving footprints of any kind. No, but there were foot. I told, I, I, I remember saying to your mom, I go, hey, we didn't get robbed last night, right? She goes, no. I go, yeah, Jacob's snuck out. Or somebody snuck in. I wasn't sure which one. But there's, there, you know what I mean? Either somebody's coming in or somebody's coming out. And yeah. she was like, how? I'm like, I don't know how he did it. Because I, I went back in and I, you know, I snoop in the room. And I looked yeah. and I'm like, I told her, I go, the alarm thing is still on the window. So he didn't take the alarm thing off. And the alarm. I'm not taking was, the whole thing off. That's a dumb move. And the alarm was set. So I'm like, how the fuck did he do it without setting the alarm up? And then it was your mom who was like, I bet you he left that window open. I'm like, oh, fucking really smart. Yeah, and then eventually, like, I, I think that was, like, once you guys started to catch on, I think I kind of figured out that you were catching on. Um, were you sneaking out, like, or were you sneaking somebody in? I was sneaking out. What, just to go down the street to Riley's or Charlie's? Yeah, just because I would sneak out, and then Riley would sneak out, and then we'd collectively go find the bong. That Because here's the crazy part, right? So, like, uh, there's also another part to the decoy bong story that I don't have, that I haven't told you yet. Okay. So the other part of the decoy, decoy bong story is that originally there was actually a real bong under that trash can. Yeah. Originally there was one that we kept there that we always grabbed. For your but late then when night. You started, yeah, the late night. So when I snuck out and he snuck out, we'd have it there. Or if I couldn't sneak out, but he was going to sneak out, he would leave his stuff in there. And like, so he was smoking his and not mine or stuff like that. But we'd always have it there in case any of us were sneaking out. This wasn't the first time we had done this as a communal bong. We did it once before, and then Charlie, Charlie, who was my our other neighbor and was one of the three amigos, um, took it out one night. It was in a different hiding spot. Remember that hiding spot across the street from Riley's that was in the ivy? Yeah. Remember that one that Charlie's mom was like, oh, they went in there to get something out? And we were like, yeah. I just want to get a volleyball. What are you talking about? We hit a bong back there for a good three or four months, and then – one day we went back there after there Charlie had bongs hidden up and down our street. Like yeah, people trick or treating was. and they're like, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah. But it was in places where you'd really have to like go in and like look for it. Do you know what I'm saying? It's not something you could see in broad daylight straight up. Like, I'm surprised that that homeless in. dude with the Barbie slippers didn't find your bongs. No, but you know who I think did? Who? So one day we went to go find it and Charlie was like, I took it out last night. I put it back there. Riley went back the next day and it was gone. And I had like, yo, I had like eight grams of weed in there. I was pissed. First of all, I was at like a hundred bucks and eight grams of weed. Fuck. And a whole ass bomb. And we're like 16 at the time. And, and it's just gone. Like the bag, the bong, everything in it. And I remember, uh, I remember before Riley had called me, I saw the gardeners driving down that street. And so they went in. And again, nothing against them. They went in, went to clean it, and then saw the bag and went, ooh, I'm just going to put this in the trash can with all the leaves that I just grabbed. And then when we get out, we'll pull it out. And look, again, kudos. I would have done the same fucking thing. Fuck yeah. It was a bong and eight grams of weed just sitting in something. Yeah, I would have 100% done the same thing, especially when it had just gotten like just gotten recreationalized or medicalized. 
uh, medically legal in LA. It was like the best weed I think I had ever seen in my entire life for these yeah. first couple of years. So, and still to this day, I'll die on that hill. When I was 18 in 2015, 14, 15, 16, and 17. You think the weed's was better? The best. When the weed was medical and here in LA and not recreationalized, the best era of weed from 2014 to 2018. You're never going to find weed better than that that was here in LA. I would love to talk to somebody in the weed community to see if that's true. It was so, uh, there was just things I was finding that you can't find now. Like uh, a straight up, uh, by uh, the way, a straight up, yeah. A Bruce Banner I couldn't find. Let me ask you something. Can't, can't find Bruce Banner. You can't find White Widow, like the pure. Uh, 50, oh, White Iron Widow. Man. You can't find a White Widow anywhere. What about a Maui? You know Maui? what I'm saying? Would you can't it do- find a straight. Would it bum you out if the entire time we were talking, I just did this? Nah, because I know eventually you're going to get tired. Oh, so tired. There you go. Dude, let me ask you something. But yeah, but yeah, 100%. 2014 to 2018, for me at least, was like the when, best weed ever was. When you were hiding things and sneaking around and like, and by the way, man, the, and I'm not going to say who it was. But there was a, you know, there were some parents on the street whose kid you hung out with. He threw you, he got busted for weed. He threw you under the bus. You remember that? Oh, you know why he threw me under the bus? I know, I know why he threw me. Well, I know why he did too. I want to tell you something. And, and by the way, when they threw you, you I don't blame you. What's that? I said, I said, you know who you are. I don't blame you. Still love you. For, yes. And by the, the way, guy who threw me under the bus. Yeah, dude. He, nah. told, he was. Nah. Yeah. So correct his to move, correct move all the way through. Like his parents. 100%. I remember when his parents came over to the house and I was like, I told you, I'm like, yo, his parents coming over. I'm not going to sit here and listen to them talk about you as this kid when his their kid. And you were like, hey, just let them blame me. I go, yeah. but I and you were like, I was like, but. They're going to be bad mouthing you up and down the street about this guy with the weed and corrupting my kid. And you were like, it's not worth it. He was like, you were like, don't get, don't get what's his name in trouble. And yeah, cause you said he was, you were like, it's going to be was, his, his parents were so against it. You were like, his life is going to be so bad. If it comes out, it was him that I'll just take it. And I was like, I respect that man. And also, I wouldn't have been able to hang out with my buddy who was also my neighbor for God knows how long. Cause his, because he would have been fucking locked up yeah. in his room. Well, they didn't which really he still, which he still ended up being locked up. By the way. They didn't really want you hanging out with him after that. Anyways. No, they didn't. They, he was like never allowed over at the house ever again after that. Never. And I think one of the reasons also he wasn't allowed, like I didn't throw you under the bus and I didn't throw him under the bus, but I was very cavalier about them being over. They came over to talk about weed, and I made sure I was super high for that conversation. Dude, my <laughs> eyes were fucking blazed. I was eating a sandwich. Your mom was like, you're ridiculous. I'm like, fuck it. If they want to see somebody high, they should start at the top. And so when they came over to bet to fucking ring you out because their kid was fucking smoking weed and he threw you under the bus, I was like, well, let them see what a real high person looks like. I mean, look, I now know the reason why his, why his, uh, his mother felt the way she did about too. it. So, I like, and I think Legit. she told you, which, 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 by the way, totally, totally, Dude. totally, totally. We're but not going to get what? into it, obviously, everybody, yeah. because this is other people's business. That's why but, we're using code, kind but of. But guess what, but, Jacob uh, Wolf? But guess what? I do not. I am not. And wasn't ever judging her for how she felt. I did not. Right. Like, you can feel personally however you want about drugs and weed and why you think it's so serious. But as soon as you come over to my house and start talking about what I think and my kid and what I should do and how I should act. Right. That's when I got a little bit of a problem, especially when you're not being told the truth. So everything you say about your perfect kid is not true. It's not right. Yeah. Right. So like, but I was really, both your mom and I were really impressed with you about toeing the line, dude. 
yeah, it just wasn't worth it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just wasn't worth it. Pick yeah. the battles. That was just not a battle. I was, I, I was, it was worth fighting. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We, no. He still lost the battle in the end. You know what I'm saying? Like, it didn't matter. And guess, guess who came out unscathed and not dead? Me. Yeah, I will tell you, I do. The one thing I was bummed out about is I really like him. And I, we just yeah, didn't see him at all afterwards. Yeah. It's a bummer. I, yeah, I, I really, I, find, I found him and Riley to have excellent senses of humor. Both, both great sense of humor. By the way, since we've used Riley's name, everybody who knows me will know who the other person is because I've also already used his name prior in this podcast. So, good luck. Doesn't matter. Doesn't, at, at this point, cool. it's, yeah, dude, we're, it's, what is it called? After seven years, you can't be convicted of a crime. Like, you're good. Is that true? I, it's a statute of limitations on some crimes. I was going to say some crimes. I'm pretty sure that's not, but okay. Yeah. Anywho. Yeah. And some um, crimes. And I don't think yeah. it's seven years. I think seven years is when your credit get cleared. You know, seven years, no matter how bad your credit is, seven years, they wipe it. Clean. Really? Yeah. That's what I was told. I don't know if that's true. I think it is. Um, But so, yeah, the back to, to retract back to where we were, that decoy bong that you found was the original, was the second hiding spot. For our, for our actual stuff. And then I found out you were snooping. And so I switched it. And so I took our stuff and put it inside. And then I put something else out there. And then if Riley ever needed anything or needed the bag, I wouldn't, and I couldn't sneak out. I wouldn't sneak out. I would just leave my window open and I would drop the bag outside the window. And he would come in the front gate. That's smart. He would walk up, he would grab the bag and he would leave. Smart. And then he'd come back. And I would yeah. stay up until he came back and he came back and he'd give me the bag and I'd close the window as low as I possibly could. And I go to sleep. Did you know that there was a gate on our driveway? Yeah. You did? I didn't, we never, did we ever close that gate? How many years did we live no. there? How many years did we live there? 10. I just found out there was a gate on that driveway. I knew there was a gate the entire time. I running out of time. Upgrade. Haven't you already upgraded like seven times? Yeah. Is dude, it I mean, me that needs to upgrade? I no, it's me. And here's the thing, dude. Are you sure it's not me who needs to upgrade? Yeah, upgrade to Zoom. One business plan. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Where you want to go? Um, yeah, right? dude. I, I knew there was a. I knew there was a gate there the entire time because in front of our mailbox, what was up with just the random black gate that was in front of it? Hello. Dude, like it's who additional options. Okay. But my question is Zoom interested in any available plan? No, just get me to the Zoom. Yeah. Now, what do I look like right now? Just out of curiosity. You look like just you're like you're focused on trying to do something. It, okay. Now here's another question I want to ask. You. Okay. All right. When you were doing whatever sneaking out um uh, so uh, milo's moving in the background what's that i said sorry if i look away milo's like looking at the door he's trying oh, to dude, i can't see you i'm trying to get oh, great yeah. um so when you were did you ever think that we knew like how dumb did you think we were in general. Look, I didn't think you guys were dumb, but I also thought there were definitely some things I was getting by you guys. Like, what? like I I know there were times where, because I remember there was a point in time when I turned 18 and we were comfortable about talking about smoking weed with each other. And I was like, did you know I was smoking weed all through high school? And you were like, dude, I knew every time that you were high when you came back, even with clear eyes. And I yeah, go, that's see, that's cap. I call cap. I call cap. There's no way you knew every time that I came home that I was high. So there's just not a chance. Well, first of all, it takes me a second. You are an eligible to. What? Why am I ineligible? What the fuck? Upgrade <laughs> out. Uh, sorry, the fact that you just said uh, you were an ineligible just made me laugh. Why am I ineligible? I don't know. That's pretty funny, though. Do, do you want me to do it? Should I upgrade? No, because I'm 
the one doing because you're the one hosting the meeting yeah that's why listen dude it's it's so embarrassing but so tell me like obviously not every time right obviously not every 100 but i also but i i didn't think i didn't think i was getting everything by you but i also knew for a fact there were things i was getting by you guys without you like what tell me what like the decoy shit right like i 100 knew i snuck that by you guys i stole you know it's crazy like i stole a whole bottle of vodka and you never noticed you know what's cra- even crazier? I didn't even drink it or bring it anywhere. I put it back after two years. You put it back? I put it back. That's well, you how don't... much I didn't like drinking. I you was like, like, fuck it. I don't even want to drink. I'm just going to smoke weed. And I put the bottle back exactly where I found it. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's, I know for a fact I got things by on you. Oh, remember when you came back and that picture of Grandma Jane had been broken in the office, and I told you that there was like a small earthquake? Yeah, that was me slow, like, like trying to like sneak around the house, and uh, and uh, I don't know. I was doing something that I was supposed to be doing, something with drinking or smoking weed, and that picture fell and it broke. And I said there was a small earthquake and it broke, and you guys never questioned it. Um, Wait. I believed small earthquake. I don't think I believed it. Both of you did. No. Here's the thing. I, I was 18. I was 18. There, we were we were calling things out at that point. You were. I was like, oh, well, maybe I didn't tell you. Maybe I told mom. Yeah. She, let me let me go ahead and just say something real quick, so you know this to be true. Hey, there's also earthquakes in California. That's a thing. There's small earthquakes every day. Yeah, but you, dude, you have to know that as a parent. There are times where you just decide, I want to bust them for this ridiculously dumb lie or not. I upgraded. I upgraded. It says you upgraded? It. I just bought it. And now it's saying I didn't upgrade. Fuck you. Look, if it stops, we'll just start over again. But, but um, what was I saying about the about whether or not you want to bust your kid? Oh, yeah, lie? you got to understand, man. There were times where you would lie, and I'd be like, okay. And you, it's just like you know what you don't want. I didn't want to. Know. I didn't want to be the person always correcting me on my kids, always saying you're lying, you're lying, because the truth of the matter is. You're going to lie to your parents. You're going to lie. There's things, no matter how great your relationship is, right. there's just going to be things that you don't tell them. Yo, no matter how great your relationship is with anyone, there are things you just don't tell. So why parents think, well, it's different with my, it's not. There are things they're not going to tell you as a human being. Right. There are things that you're going to get lied to about. And like, I know, I know my kid doesn't, he never, they do. No, but my relationship, my relationship is different. It isn't. Yo, dude, I could not, just using you and me as an example, right? I could not have hoped to have a better relationship. I would say that with all right. of you, Caitlin and Trevor. There are, without a doubt, things that all three of you don't tell us and that I don't need to know, right? Yep. So just know that there were lies. I. I remember having a conversation with your mom once. We left you. We we asked, I forget what we asked you about. We're at the dinner table, and you walked into your room, and she looks at me and she goes, "You believe that?" I was like, "Nah." She was like, "Yeah, me neither." And uh, we started laughing because we were both like, "Yeah, but it's not. This is not the hill we're going to climb on." And busting somebody every time they lie does not stop them from lying. It true, just true. makes them try to lie better. Yeah, okay. Yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. Trust is not built on punishment. Trust is built on you. Here's how you get people to admit things to you or to tell you the truth, especially kids. You have to prove to them that you're trustworthy. So you would, it's not like, and you tell me more than I would say most kids tell their parents. Probably. But it didn't start like that, Boomer. We, you dipped your toe. And when you found out I didn't 
lose my mind or flip out, you dipped your toe again. And that's it. We built that trust mm -hmm. by me not reacting in a way that you thought I would react from the information. Mm -hmm. But part of that was not busting you on every lie. So I'm sure no, I did not know every time you lie, but trust me when I tell you that a, a large chunk of your lies were received, understood, and disseminated out appropriately. All right. Still means I got away with it. So <laughs> that's all I got from that is sometimes you lie and get away with it and sometimes you don't. So I know I got away with it a couple times. Can I just tell you, yo, dude, what a perfect fucking response to that. And what a, in a nutshell, a parent kid relationship, because as a parent, what I just did was give you this giant life soliloquy about, you know, what's important. The soliloquy is not a word, by the way. It's a great word. It's I think it's from Shakespeare. Not, so I just give you this whole life thing about why, you know, how you build trust with your kid. And this is when it's important, when it's not important. And you were looking at me. I, I should have recognized that fucking look on your face. Where you were like, is he still talking? Because all you I didn't got see me y'all <laughs> six times. What the fuck? Ah! You didn't see me yawn six times? Like I was about to fall asleep in the lecture did. hall. Holy crap! <laughs> oh my god! Just like man, it's supposed to be a fun podcast. It just sounds like I'm getting another fucking talking to because I got <laughs> loud and talked about something. I mean, fuck! What are we doing here? <laughs> we posted a clip from last week's about the difference the cheese or between, bacon. between cheese and bacon. Now, I, I want to make an amendment, everybody. Uh, I'm still pickles galore. I'm I misspoke about pickles and relish. I'm not putting putting pickles and relish, but I am putting relish all over my hot dog, but just not on my hamburger. That, I misspoke. That, that, that's okay, by the way. You can have yeah. relish on a hot dog, and you on could have dog. relish on a hamburger, a yeah. cheeseburger, if you want it. But you went for both, and also you can't switch up now. Like the energy's got to be the same. Like you're still oh. so adamant. By the way, I've had one person in my DMs agree with you. By the way, I'm I'm I still super adamant about bacon over cheese. But I, I, I was rattling, you know how I rattle off at the mouth. So like, I, I, I obviously. I, I've had one DM from somebody I know, from a close friend, from Jake. Jake is the only person who agrees with you. Well, Jake is obviously my favorite of your friends. Well, <laughs> now, Jake is, Jake is, but Jake also gave me a couple things to think about. And he was like, but you could do so much more with bacon than just bacon. And I was like, well, what do you mean? He goes, you can bake the bacon. You can fry the bacon. You can do a patty just of bacon. You can do bacon in the regular patty. You can do a bacon yeah. jam. And I was like, whoa, 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 I was like, doing too many things right here, brother. Yeah. I was like, it doesn't matter. And he goes, I'll make you. And he listed, he's like, this is how I make you a burger right now. This, this right here. And he was like, and, and he was like, and this will just, it'll, it'll change your opinion. I go, that sounds great. But you know, what's missing from it? Cheese. A slice of cheese. And let me ask you also, you know, my favorite. Yo, a blue cheese crumble with bacon oh blue cheese bacon burger is fucking fire uh dude i went into, i ate at this dude's house one night I like blue cheese outside bacon of burger. outside of his grilling prowess he was a fucking straight up dummy but yeah. he at one point we were made we made some steak and i saw him make a little incision on the side and i was like yo dude all the juice is gonna run out you know if you cut that's what you're supposed to let it sit and and he goes, yeah, yeah, just try it. He pushed some blue cheese crumble in the middle of the steak, right? So the last bit was with the blue cheese in the steak. It was, wow. let me tell you something right now. Oh, look, I bet you it tasted great. That's not how I want my steak, though. It tasted so good. I bet you it sounds like it tasted good. Because so guess what? I like blue cheese. Like that sounds good. Yeah. But no. Now you that's you, not how I'm eating my steak. You told me leading into this today's podcast that you were gonna say something about my the, my food likes and dislikes. Yeah. Let me just go through some things real quick. First of all, okay. the burger that you gave 
and I'm just going to include the relish on there because you put relish on there. I'm okay, but listen, but I'm people, just but are, people not allowed, are people not allowed to retract things? Is that what we're saying? This is so silly. No, that's that's fine. You can take the relish back. Fine. Even take the relish off of that burger. That is a homicidal hamburger. Buddy, pickles, mustard, mayonnaise, ketchup, ketchup. Maybe. lettuce, tomato is a great burger. I'm not putting pickles and mustard on this burger. That's yeah, awful. It's not my problem that you have no taste buds. It's also not my problem that you think cheese, you can live without hamburgers without cheese on them. That's the fucking craziest thing I've ever heard. Listen, man, I'm not, I'm just, I, I, I gave us a Sophie's choice, picking cheese or bake. Now tell me what else you, because you said you thought I had some interesting food. What else you think? I think I would also like to point out that this man, uh, likes fritos we've talked about this first he likes fritos yeah regular fritos he'll take a regular bag of fritos over doritos that is just not a good take no brand no brand not even a good take i'm not no. even we're not even going to get into that like okay. if we went into chips again like again everybody's on my side no dude even you the people you your eat, age you eat doritos out of a purple bag you're some new age hey, those, those those sweet spicy thai chili ones are bomb Fuck. but yeah. even yo know, bag of fritos absolutely f tier it's an F tier. It's like at the very bottom of chips. We've gone over Fritos. You before. don't like Captain Crunch Bears. Now, listen, for you to sit here and tell me that Captain Crunch is better with those fucking Crunch Berries tells me that I'm not I saying not, it's better. Tells I'm me that I did worse. not I did not raise you right. Let me no, tell you something. All right I'm now. saying is you can like the berries. Berries, I, yo, they make just the berries. Do I think that's weird? Absolutely. You have to have the Captain <laughs> Look at your face. They have to make the Captain Crunch with the berries, but it can also be plain, but they can be mixed together. My man, why are you fucking with Captain Crunch? It's like putting nuts in my chocolate chip cookie. Who eats Captain hey, Crunch? A white chocolate chip. Wait a second. A Wait a second. Amazing. Wait a second. Who eats Captain Crunch at any point in time? Tastes that fucking deliciousness in their mouth and thinks you know what will make this better fucking nothing zero things makes captain crunch better especially not those disgusting fucking crunch berries it it doesn't Bad make them worse it doesn't make it better and i will absolutely agree it doesn't make it better but it doesn't make it worse it doesn't make them bad like i don't know why i still don't understand the argument why do you think they're bad Wait a second. Are you saying that adding the crunch berries is a lateral move? It doesn't make it better or worse? Yeah, I am saying it's a lateral move. That's yeah, exactly what I'm saying. You're it's a lateral move. plateau. You're it's a lateral plateau. move. I you're don't even lateral. know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> that is, I don't even know what that means. Milo, do you know what that means? Listen, dude. No. Milo Listen, doesn't know dude. what it means either. <laughs> Milo doesn't understand a fucking thing you're saying. Listen, dude. First of all, and move Pickles. that radical. You move that radical for you to tell me that it's a lateral move is like so absurd. First of all, second of all, lateral. you could not lateral. be more wrong about so much of this. But crunch berries, yeah. I, I, anybody, here's the problem. No, when something's great, people aren't satisfied with it being great. I don't need an. If the, the first person who bit into a chocolate chip cookie and thought that somehow you could make it better with nuts needs to be throat punched. Whoever ate Captain Crunch and tried to improve on perfection needs to have their toenails pulled off. And then to the blasphemy of doing just a box of those stupid fucking crunch berries. Yo, I, it's... It's a, buy you a box and send it to your house. Oh, you know what? I'm, I'm shitting that box. Gross. You shit in the box before in your backyard. So I, I did. <laughs> you shit in the box before. I'm pretty sure you'll do it again. No, to be can't fair, that was. A... Didn't, I can't believe you didn't use the tissue paper. It's crazy to me that you didn't even think about it and you shit on top of the tissue paper. Well, and then I had nothing to. Yeah. I was thinking about the joke the way the presentation of the shit for those of you who don't know i shit in a shoebox but that i did not meet like it wasn't like hey i'm gonna go shit in a shoebox i was trapped yeah. outside my house yeah right right but here's my thing everybody like if you have to shit in a shoebox and you know you don't have any tissue to wipe after 
why are you not taking the tissue that's already in the shoebox and, and taking it out before you shit in the shoebox? Well, the tissue that's in the like, box. That's like shitting in a shoebox 101. Yeah. The, it's hilarious. <laughs> the shitting, the tissue in the box is like the tissue at a really bad restaurant. It doesn't absorb anything. It just kind of moves it around. Right, but there's also so much of it. The stuff they, the, the part they stuff in the shoe. There's yeah. so much of that in. I, 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 I didn't have any of the stuff in the shoe. I just had the stuff on the bottom. And you're right. I probably should have if I wasn't laughing so hard. I was thinking because you know me, man. Like at first, I was like, "What am I gonna do?" So I, I dug that shoe box out of the trash can. And then when I was squatting over the shoe box, I was laughing so hard that I wasn't really thinking any steps ahead. Plus there was a pool in the backyard and I just could go wipe my ass off in the pool. Gross. <laughs> what I, did I ever, did you ever get the pool cleaned after that? Yeah. The pool got cleaned every week, man. Just making sure. Plus chlorine, you know, don't know if that's how that works. It is. It is. Is it? Well, I mean, I'm sure it doesn't make it clean shit, but it makes it cleaner it? than it not chlorine shit. Disagree. It does. That's what chlorine does. It cleans things. It disinfects. I disagree. Yeah, not not actual shit. I don't know if that's Why do how you that think works. they put, you know, Google chlorine? I'm what? Gonna, what? No, you have to Google chlorine and shit. You have to I'm Google, gonna, does chlorine make shit clean? I'm going to say. By the way, that's a hard Google. Because I'm not asking if chlorine cleans shit off of something. I'm asking if does chlorine, chlorine is an actual piece of poop sh- clean. I'm going to say, does chlorine sterilize shit? How about that? No, no, no. Poop. You gotta say poop because shit can be mean as like. I got it. Okay. Okay. The good news is is that most germs are killed by chlorine within a few minutes. However, chlorine does not kill everything. Mm. Okay. Mm, like what? What else does it not kill? Like what? Okay. What happens if poop gets in the pool? All fecal material contains bacteria that causes recreational water illnesses or RWIs. Have you ever heard of RWIs? I've heard of going in water and it making you sick, like dirty water and it making you sick. Yeah. Bacteria like E. coli, hepatitis A uh, can all be transmitted to the water when there's poop present. Oh, oh, these is that types, so? These types of bacteria take several days to disinfect. Nah, 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 nah. Yeah, several days. Well, you, I, all I said, all I, you asked. No, 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 no. Well, well, right, but, but I asked if it, if, like, if it got cleaned, and you said, yeah, it got cleaned, but then you said, well, that's what chlorine does. Why do you, you think that's what chlorine does? As of like, as asking us as and saying like chlorine just makes it go. So if it didn't get clean, the chlorine would have just done it itself. Which is why you not have a straight way. hype MC with the mic when you want to make your point. No, this is just how I've been talking the entire time because the mic isn't here. You notice how my voice is different? Yeah. It's right here. So okay. I have to have this facing me. No, I everybody in the 313, push your motherfucker. Yeah, that's weird. For the next thing we're going to um, do is get you a real mic. What is that? I, this is a real mic. This is like a. This is what I stream with. This is a mic. Yeah, I'm gonna get you a real mic, a podcast mic. I I have like a mic, mic, but I just don't. It can't go into this. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna get you a podcast mic. Look I also that. have an arm for it. Why is my hair so gray? Because you're fucking 57. I'm not 57. Um, what are you gonna do today? Do you have any other problems with any type of food that I? Eat? No, I, I think I'd like to hear some more from you, though, because I'd really like to know um, whether or not uh, you have any other. All right, what do you put on the hot dog? Relish, onion, mustard, ketchup. Now, if what if, I, there's no, what if there's no veggies present? We just have to do the, like, the ballpark dog. Well, then I take it easy on... To me, what the veggies do, because if I put too much condiment on it, I don't like the sauciness of it. So the more vegetables you have, already put more three condiment condiments on there. I didn't understand. I, I didn't hear a word you said because I was talking. What'd you say? Yeah, because you're already putting you're already putting four condiments on there. So like, yeah, but I don't do that if there are no veggies. So if there are no veggies, I'll do mustard. Man. On like no onions. 
Do you talk about just no, mustard no. ketchup? It's a ballpark dog. Like if I want to go to Dodger Dog right now, I can't get onions on that shit. You can't? No, you have to order like a whole ass separate dog. I go you mustard. Go and, I go mustard and relish. What in the fucking world? Yeah. Those are the two you pick. That's that's oh my good fucking god. Especially if we're talking like a sausage. No, it's not a sausage. It's a dog. Right. If we're talking it's dog or like sausage. Dog or dog. Mustard and relish. Cause I'm I know what the deal is. That's why. Cause you like to kill food. What would you put like, on a hot dog? Oh my god. Definitely not fucking mustard and relish. What are you putting on there? I'm putting if if uh usually it's only ketchup and if not only ketchup then some mayo on there. But that's it. <laughs> that is it. <laughs> that is what it. What did you just say? That is, Mayonnaise that is, and ketchup on a hot dog? Who yes. raised you? What? No, you just said that on the other one. You said mustard, mayo, ketchup, relish, and onions on the other hot dog. Not on a hot dog, man. Not mayo. That's what you just said for the first one. I well, definitely not mayo. So you're going mustard, ketchup, onions, relish on a hot dog? Yeah. Nope. No, I'm going to say something mayo, else. Like, mustard, mayo, onions, if there's if, onions. If you take all that off, I might even put some cream cheese on there. That's delicious. All right, I'm out. Guys, Instagram, Jake underscore Wolf. TikTok is it's Jake Wolf. Um, hey, everybody. You know what the deal is. I'm not, I'm not coming back with this food shit because I have to go throw up. Because that is just the worst. Until you ever. taste a hot dog with cream cheese, don't even come. I out. will never taste a hot dog and cream cheese until the day I fucking die. Well, then your life won't be complete. Hey, everybody, listen. Jacob Wolf will be with me in Indianapolis this upcoming oh, week. Yeah. Uh, and then after that, Cleveland will be the next time he'll be on the road with me. Cleveland! Com- ComedianJoshWolf.com for tour dates. Um. Let's cut a little promo right here for Indianapolis. Hey, Indianapolis. Oh, okay. Indianapolis. And by the way, we don't know how to add this out of the podcast. So you guys are going to see this too. Hey, Indianapolis. Oh, yeah. Look who's coming. Look, damn it. Nope. That's right. Oh, is it? Oh, on my screen, it's wrong. On my screen, you're it is? away from me. <laughs> oh, really? Hey, Indianapolis. Look who's coming with me. Come join us Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Me, Jacob Wolf, Sandy Danto. It's going to be a good time. I'll be coming straight from the fucking airport, Indianapolis. So uh, let's roll. Let's get ahead and have a good time. ComedianJoshWolf.com for tour dates. Josh Wolf Comedy. Guys, Family Tussle is being postponed a little bit. Just I want to make sure that it's as good as it can possibly be. So I'm looking at the beginning yeah. of October. Oh, okay. All right. Perfect. All right, everybody. It's gonna be great. I already did all my plugs and shit. Um, I know you did. Yeah, that's all I got. We will never, ever, ever be talking about food once again on this podcast unless it is a common liking. Um, Because I just, I don't know. I just don't know. I feel like I can't ever go and eat certain things with you ever again. Listen, dude, just admit you're wrong. Let's move on. I love you. You want me to admit I'm wrong when everybody else agrees with me? Not a chance. We'll see about the hot dog. I love you. Oh, I'm going to win the hot dog. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I like to smoke weed, bring it oh, I, I like to smoke weed, 